Hello everyone. I'm going to do a product review on my Babyless, Babyless, however you want to say it. Um, I call it Babyless. My Babyless Pro Curling Iron, and it looks like this. I got mine at my um, Cosmo Prof, which is a store for people, um, for cosmetologists, uh, licensed cosmetologists, and students to go when they need. Um, hair care products like at an extremely discounted price like I can get um, Paul Mitchell and Bedhead and Kenra and all that stuff for super super cheap um, yeah so this one I spent um, I'm gonna say f no it was it was $50 or no it was $40 and I got it for $20 um, I had a coupon and then it was on sale on top of that so um, what to say about this? Uh, it's really nice. <laughs> I really love it, and I actually plugged it in so that you can see um how it curls. The only downfall that I don't like about this is this top part. Um, I'm used to the the top parts where the plastic are to be like here, and so I'll go to grab my. It's on. I'll go to grab my curling iron, and it's hot, and I end up burning myself when I'm doing my hair because I use two hands to you know when I'm curling my hair um but I like it's um gold titanium and so I really like that about it, it has this little on off switch which is kind of annoying where it's at because I will um I touch it all the time and it's just it it clicks and you can tell if it's on or off by that so I do that a lot it's kind of a pain um, another thing I like, it has 30 different heat settings, and it goes by 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And then if you, wrong side, if you press this button in right here, it goes turbo heat, and it heats up really, really fast. Um, but the second that you let it go, it cools off again really fast, too. So, I mean, I do like the fact that it has, like, um, a turbo heat on it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. Um... Again, it's just a regular curling iron. It's not really much to curl in your hair. But how I do mine is I run it through once to heat up the strand. I go almost all the way down. See, I just burnt myself. I do that. And I don't even have to hold it long. It's already going to give me that nice curl. So, I mean, I don't even... I always burn myself with it though. That's the only bad thing because when I go to grab it, I have to like hold it like this in order to stop burning myself. So and I mean, I can do my hair fairly, fairly quickly with this because I don't have to sit and hold my curling iron. I don't have to hold it on there because it heats up so quick and it really, um, it really, I love what it does to my hair. Um, another thing, if you're going to curl your hair, and I mean if you curl your head, whole head or just your bangs, wait until they're completely cooled off. You can even do this. Stick your head in the freezer. I've done that before just to cool my hair off faster when I'm in a hurry. Um, and then run your fingers through it because if you run them through while they're hot, your curl hasn't set yet. And the bonds in your hair haven't, um, you know, they haven't gone back together yet, so they're kind of just broken apart. So if you run your fingers like this, it's going to take your curl out a lot sooner. So make sure it's um, cooled off before you do that. Let's see, it makes a nice little... I love it. I think I'm going to curl my hair before I go out. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend the Babyliss or Babyliss, however you pronounce it. I pronounce it Babyliss. I dec definitely recommend the curling irons. This one, I believe, is a half an inch. If not, it's a three-fourths of an inch. Um, but I really do. I really love these curling irons. I've had other ones, and I actually had a Revlon one that I just threw away because I like this one a lot better. And I've had it for, I don't know, six months maybe, and I really, really liked it. Um, it just comes in like a plastic packaging that you have to cut open with scissors in order to get to the product. So uh, Another thing I like about this, it's got the swivel um the swivel cord and so i really like that uh yeah 
So there's not, I don't really have a whole lot else to say. It's a really good curling iron. Um, just be careful. The only downfall is you burn yourself when you go to grab it because it's only got this little thing at the top. And this even gets, like, I can't, I can't touch it for very long without it hurting. Um, so that's the only downfall is that I can't really grab it at the end to really, because it's harder to curl my hair and just go, it's a lot harder to keep my hands straight. So, um, that's the only downfall, but other than that, it's a really good curling iron. I recommend it highly because, um, it's a really good brand. It's a lot better than the Revlon brand. It, it lasts a lot longer. It's a lifetime guarantee. So, um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, and I'll put any information, I'll put their website in the, um, the bottom bar. I'll put all their information down there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And uh, let me know if there's anything else you want me to review. Thanks for watching.